Okay, now let's reset our lineups courtesy of Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go for this fourth quarter. So on the floor for Utah. Johnson is out there with Hood. And it's Joe Ingles. And it's Rudy Gobert. And it's Rubio in at the guard position. Now, here's Rubio. After the miss from Carl Malone. Gobert with a screen on Kerr. Hood for three. And the rebound goes to Pau Gasol. Well executed. Great rhythm. You've got to finish that one. Well, it's like Thanksgiving out there, carving out space off the screen. Just couldn't complete the play. Hood can't get it to go. And forcing the miss there, he just knows how to pressure you defensively. You hear a lot about rim protection. This is a good example of how valuable it can be. And he shows us all what the breakaway rim was invented for. Can you believe he almost brought the whole thing down by hanging on that long? Rubio dishes to Johnson. Hood kicks to Gobert. And Gasol sends it back. And he recovers it. Here's Curry. A little over a minute of the fourth quarter gone right now. McGrady passes to Malone. Goes straight to the defender for the dunk. Draws the foul. He'll go to the line. It's going to be on Rudy Gobert. Oh, and he went for the two-hander on the slam using some muscle. Some urgency from him there. Sure. Free throw drops from Malone. Utah leading by three. And Rubio kicks to Johnson. Pass to Ingles. James against Hood. He dishes it to Johnson. Five to shoot. Johnson to screen. And Rubio kicks to Ingles. Hood for three. Gets the three-pointer to fall. And Utah leads by six. Just like to see the defense get more aggressive. They are asking for trouble as they're giving up open looks to this point. And he's an automatic finisher when he gets into that area. He is, and he picks the simple one-hand stuff to get the two points. Now here's Johnson. An easy two points on the layup. Johnson's got the lead up to six now for Utah. How about the grit and determination in the post? I mean, essential qualities to have late in a close game. And a lot of scoring here late, but there hasn't been any defense to speak of. That's amazing. As well as both sides, offenses have performed tonight. We've seen very little effort on the other end. Curry, good. Well, you see the excellent skill set. And this is when you want to make an impact. I feel like there's an uptick in the intensity as well. Fourth quarter, and it's closing time. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. So the first one drops, and that makes it a three-point lead. And so he drops them both. It's a four-point ball game. And just like that, this game is a two-possession affair. And finished off by Gasol. And we talk so much about accurate shooting. Sometimes accurate passing can lead to great shooting. You saw it there. Rubio against Curry. For those just joining us, fourth quarter here. We're just over two and a half minutes into it. Here's Johnson. Good work defensively by Malone. To tie it up. And James with the layup. James has got six points in the quarter. Really well done there. Just confident and composed. Never in a hurry. And Rubio kicks to Hood. And it's Gasol with the rebound. Fast break. Here they come. Malone with it, and it's Johnson picking him up. McGrady against Johnson. Here's Gasol. Buries it. Oh, shocking. There, that, that one's amazing. Well, you play your heart out all night long, and then just one or two shots at the end decide the outcome. Utah calls timeout. They're trailing by two. There's 47 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And now we've got a moment for our Jordan player of the game, Pau Gasol. 
And in terms of his shooting, this has been one of the more accurate performances you'll ever see. I mean, he's been in constant motion, creating a lot of good looks for himself. But, but still, even when you're wide open, you expect to miss some of the time. But that has not been the case here tonight. This guy has made everything. He has a chance now to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin. Well, during the last break, I heard Quinn Snyder talking with his team. Yes, they're behind right now, but he's still upbeat. He said, guys, we can get back in this game. Stay together out there. All-out effort can win this game. And I really thought he was going to send that shot the other way, but, but at least he forces the miss. Well, just good timing on his part. Anytime the shooter has to adjust, the defense wins. Wow, wow, he got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. And so he's good on both free throws, and that gives them the lead. He really relish these moments, and he loves those pressure situations. Utah calls timeout. They're down by one. 19 seconds left in the fourth quarter. What do you think, guys? And, and really no need to rush. Still plenty of time to get a good look. Challenge is to get that good look, preferably the guy with the hottest hand. Gobert with a screen on Malone. Malone with the steal. Fast break, here they come. For the finish, yes! And, and Kevin, maybe the play of the game right there. A tremendous instinct spray to come up with a steal and then attack the basket. Well, the other part is just reading the crucial moment. That's a clutch move right there. It could change the outcome of the game. And so the home crowd treated to a win. What a show they put out here at home tonight. I mean, these are those games that feel so great to win, and, and really, it's like a knife in the gut to lose. Uh, you you got to love being on edge of your seat and just wondering what's going to happen. How is this thing going to play out? And that about wraps it up for Brett Berry, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge. This is Kevin Harlan along with our 2K Sports crew. So long.